Well, good afternoon, guys and gals. This is uh, the George Adventure here. I'm gonna do a little knife talk today. Um, I ordered a new case knife a while back, uh, and it is the Case Tribal Lock. Uh, this is it right here. It's a uh, case brown sycamore wood smooth tribal lock. You can see the box. It gives you the it gives you the knife number. And all on the box. There's the box that comes in. You got the stars and bars on it, which I love. Uh, WR case. And it comes wrapped up in the paper. Right here. I'm already taking it out. It's got a little. Got a little piece of paper with it. Just gives you directions and what to do. And it's in different languages, of course. You know, we got to have all the different languages. Uh, and then it's got the brown. I can't get out, but it's got the brown paper that the knife's wrapped, wrapped in. Comes wrapped in. Uh, I just shoved it down the box. I don't always keep these boxes, the ones I'm going to carry. Uh, I've got some boxes that, that the ones I collect, but... I've been eyeballing this thing for a while, and I love case knives. You know, I hear these people online about, well, the blade ain't center, and, uh, you know, we got this little bit of uh, doobly-doo right here. Uh, I've been carrying case knives. I'm 61 years old. Uh, I've still got my very first case knife. Uh, it's a mini trapper. It's got the, got the uh, brown, sort of a brown bone handle. I bought it. I bought it in the uh, early 80s. Early 80s. That was the first pocket knife that I actually bought myself. Uh, carried old timers and all growing up. But uh, So I bought I bought that old timer and I should have brought it down here. But I'll do, I'll do a little review on it. Or not the old timer, but the case. The case mini trapper. And I, I do have to say that the, the main blade on it uh, it's a little bit loose, uh, but I, like I said, I carried it for years and years, and so I started. I started carrying the uh, sod buster. I love sod busters, uh, but I saw I saw these uh, right here, and I just I just thought you know that was a that was a pretty nice looking knife. I cool the way it was the blade. It's got the lock back, so I thought you know that would be. That would be a pretty handy knife. I I never actually picked one up and handled it, but yeah, I'm the kind of person that when I you know I see something I like, I don't buy it right away. I I just kind of I look at them, I do research on them. You know, yeah, I watch YouTube channels on them. Um, uh, but you know, I just kind of take my time before I pull the trigger. Uh, so you know. Got they have in this knife they have a lot of different handles for it. They have some beautiful, beautiful bone bone handles uh with these. Um they you know they have uh even have the blue, but they have they I, I saw this sycamore. Uh it's uh it's called according to the box, it's uh it's brown. You can see it, it's brown sycamore. Sycamore trees are beautiful, it's a hardwood, pretty hardwood. Uh, but I thought, you know, that light, that knife, just, just by the pictures, that knife looks nice. I mean, that's a good looking handle on that knife. And I don't have a wood handle case knife, period. It's all, they're all bone except for, I've got a couple old ones. It's got the black plastic, whatever they call it. And I've got a, uh, the yellow, uh, Delrin handles, you know, the yellow ones are pretty common. I've got a yellow handle sod buster, which I love. But I just, I just thought this knife kind of, kind of caught my eye. And, and the blade, the blade is one of the things that I, I like. It's a spear point. I guess that's what you call this, a spear point. Um, and the locking mechanism on it. Um, uh, you know, I came up carrying a pocket pocket knives that didn't have, you know, the locking mechanisms on them like this one. Uh, but the things that caught my eye was the blade, the blade shape, the blade thickness, 
uh, and the uh, the sycamore. You can see the pattern on this side is different than the pattern where the shield is. Oh, and another thing I'm real picky about with my case knives is the shield. You know, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like the oval case logo. You know, it's got the circle around it. Uh, but I like, you know, the bombshell. Uh, the uh, This is called a bow tie. I believe what this is called. Uh, shield. It doesn't have case written in it anywhere. But I like the different, I like the different shields instead of just a standard case oval, oval shield. Uh, so that was one, another one of the things that caught my eye. I've had this thing, I guess, about three weeks. Uh, but like I said, it's a lot back. Uh, it's, it's got the good quality, good case. You know, and I hear people talk about cases, you know, they're, they're, their quality has has uh, you know faltered some, but you know I don't I don't really see that much of it. And when I when I take one of these out, I'm not one of these anal people that think that think something that's handmade by a man is going to be perfect. Because let me tell you, there's nothing that men make that's going to be perfect. I don't care what it is. This is made by hand. You know, this bench made, this bench made isn't perfect. I guarantee it's not perfect, but it's a good tool and it does the job. And I'm very satisfied with it. So I've owned case knives. I've got many, many case knives. I collect them. I've owned them and I've used them for years. Uh, so uh, I do understand that, you know, sometimes they're not going to be perfect. But this one is as close to it as you can get, I think. This is a very beautiful knife, but I'm going to use this knife. I'm going to use it hard. I want to see what, I want to see how the sycamore holds up. Uh, this knife is stainless steel. Uh, you can see the, you can see the writing on the blade here. I guess you can see that. Uh, but, uh, um, sorry about that. Uh, but this is a very beautiful knife. Uh, it's a guy, it's, it's a good size. You can see my hand. My hand fits it pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to be batoning wood with this. This will be a, you know, this will be a slicer, you know, uh, just an everyday, basically an everyday or an EDC use knife, cutting things, you know, and there's more to cut in life than boxes. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a nice knife. And comparing it, you compare this to the Benchmade bug out right here. It's pretty close. It's pretty close in the, in the same size. The blade on the Benchmade bug out. I don't always go to the Benchmade, but Benchmade, a lot of people carry this Benchmade so bug out. So I kind of like to compare other EDC knives to it uh this blade's shaped a little different but this this is a good cutting blade man this i love the shape of it and the knife overall the knife overall is is i would right at just a little little over seven inches about seven and an eighth inches long uh, the blade the blade itself uh, the, the cutting part of it, you have, you have about two, you got two and five eighths cutting surface on this blade. The overall blade sticking out of the bolster is just about three and an eighth. Uh, closed when it's in your pocket. The knife is, uh, the knife's about four and an eighth closed. That's what it looks like closed. It's got a good lock on it. It doesn't wiggle. Nice lock back, mid lock here. Uh, you just, just press it in, closes in. Doesn't have a thumb stud or none of this like the bench made. 
like these folders. It doesn't have a pocket clip or anything on it. This is for your pocket. I carry it in this. I slide it down in my little easy EDC pocket organizer, and it just slides down in my pocket and uh, fits real comfortable. And I don't have to, you know, when I need my flashlight or my pen or my blade here, I don't have to dig around. No lanyard hole, which, you know, I think it would have been cool for a lanyard hole, but it doesn't have a lanyard hole. Uh, the blade, the blade's good and centered. Uh, you can see it's, it's centered. You know, that's pretty important. But, you know, most of the time when I get a case knife for most American-made knives, the blades are center, you know. Now, I've used this bench made and see it's it's not quite centered like it was, but it's it's close. But uh, I've used it a whole lot. This this I've had this knife for two years and it's been used hard. I mean, it's scratched all up. You know, the blades the blades all scratched up. So I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this case tribal lock to good use. Uh, I think it's I think it's really a a, a good pattern. Uh, I've always I've always liked the um, um, big trappers or the mini trappers and the copperhead and the mini copperhead. Those those have always been my favorite patterns. Here lately, the last maybe five or six years, I've really gotten where well, I like the sodbusters, and they offer a lot of cool looking sodbusters. And then I found this tribal lock. And this tribal lock, you know, is is, is a nice one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it and try it. I'm gonna use it, use it out in the field as much as I can. Maybe some um, you know, even some cooking chores, light cooking chores, maybe, you know, uh maybe even some carbon because it is a lot back. Uh so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um uh, I think this is one of my favorite shields so far. Uh, I like the bomb shield. Uh, they got one that looks like an arrowhead. Uh, but Case has some cool shields on their knives. They really do. But this this one's kind of this one's kind of different. You don't see very many bow tie shields. So uh, anyway. Uh, I may even I may even make a side draw holster for it and carry it. I've got a small one upstairs. I've got a mini trapper in, but I may make a side draw holster for this and carry it carry it side draw on my side on my belt like this. This is a side draw holster right here, and this is just an old old timer. I bought this. I bought this off of eBay, and I did a little on my own because I'm gonna keep it. Kind of did a little bit. Well, I did some polishing on the blade with my little grinder. Uh, but, I, you know, I just grind the blade up. But I did, I took the, I took the polishing, little polishing wheel and kind of did it. And it made it, I took some of the darker brown off and it made it look more camo. I think it turned out good. Because I'm not going to take this knife and sell it or anything, I'm going to keep it. So I kind of wanted to add my little touch to it. I bought my stepson one just like this, but I left it original. And I did I did polish the blade and I sharpened it, sharpened it on the on the uh belt. So uh I think this is a unique knife. It's a it's a um one fifty four OT, but I've done a video on it, so I'm not gonna get carried away. But this is actually a side draw poster. Uh this it's not made for this knife, so but I'm gonna make one. But I put a, I put a, uh, another piece of leather through the part, through the side draw belt loop. So I put this through there with two snaps. So I can actually carry it this way. I can carry it. So I can carry it two ways. I can carry it, I can carry it scout draw or I can carry it on my belt like this. Just whatever I decide. So I, I added that. I just was kind of experimenting a little bit. I made this out of some scrap. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to just make something a little different. 
If I get back to the travel lock, uh, they have a lot of bone in this, a lot of bone handles, different ones you can get on. I actually bought this one off eBay. So you can buy them on eBay. Uh, you can buy them from a Blade HQ, Knife Center, whatever. Uh, they got a lot of nice, beautiful uh, bone handles. But this is the only wood handle that I saw. So my first wood handle, case knife. So I'm going to give her a try. So anyway, y'all, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy your knives. Uh, just a, It's a good hobby, but it's also, to me, a necessity. Sorry about that. It's a necessity to me to carry a knife. It's, it's a working tool. Uh, you never know what you're going to need to cut. could even save your life. So, uh, just hope you watch watch this video. Hope you like it. If you like it, you know, let me know. And if you like my channel, I'm going to do, you know, I'm doing a lot of different videos. I'm doing knife talk. And this is a knife talk. Um, you know, doing, I'm going to do a lot of outdoor stuff. I'm going to try to add more videos to my channel. Cooking, outdoor cooking, hunting. I'm going to do some hunting. I'm going to do some, a lot more kayaking stuff. I'm going to go over my fishing kayak when it gets time i'm gonna go over some turkey hunting techniques and different things like that so uh just anything that's got to do with outdoors hunting fishing kayaking edc which will be a knife knives knife reviews i've done a couple on this it's bug out so anyway this is my video this is knife talk one of my knife talk videos that's what i'm going to title it so if you like my channel, please subscribe to it, leave a like, and hit the bell so you can be alerted when new videos come out. Uh, nothing fancy. You don't have a fancy editor or anything. I've just I'm just using my phone. I try to I just try to be honest and blunt and you know just show you things. So hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, coming to you from Georgia. God bless you, and please be safe out there. Thanks.